If the dance scene in Netflix's Wednesday is so awesome, why are people so upset about it? Let's take a look. Wednesday is definitely off to a good start on the streaming giant. The Addams Family spinoff exploded on the platform, recording the most hours viewed in a week for an English-language series. Jenna Ortega is absolutely the standout of Wednesday, as everyone has been praising her performance. Unfortunately for her, though, newly surfaced information has her trending online for all the wrong reasons. They want answers, and so do I! I would lead the Inquisition, but I left my thumbscrews and rack at home. During a recent interview with NME, the actress unintentionally threw herself under the bus. As the interview dives deeper into the show, Wednesday's dance number, found in episode 4, Whoa, What a Night, became the topic of conversation. Ortega revealed, I choreographed that myself. I'm not a dancer, and I'm sure that's obvious. I'd gotten the song about a week before, and I just pulled from whatever I could. It's crazy because it was my first day with COVID, so it was awful to film. The interviewer was confused by the statement, which led Ortega to more or less double down on it. She reflected on waking up with body aches and a sore throat and still went to set and film the scene, receiving medicine in between takes. She kept filming until her test results came back positive. MGM later told the outlet that the studio implemented strict COVID protocols after the test confirmed Ortega had COVID, but fans weren't having it. While NME released the interview nearly a month ago, the information surrounding Ortega's COVID diagnosis recently took off on social media. It doesn't help the situation that the interview formatted the story in a way that showed Ortega's strength in pushing through the performance while battling the illness. Regardless of intent, fans didn't see it that way at all. One Twitter user stated, This is a bad thing, right? We all agree that this is not some persevering through hardship moment. It's a why the f didn't she get sent home, she could get horrendously sick or infect others kind of moment. Many agreed with the user's sentiment, echoing their disappointment for Ortega, director Tim Burton, and Netflix for putting more importance on the scene than the lives of the cast and crew. Another user added, According to her, she was in waiting for the results when they shot that take. When the results came in, she was sent home. But to be honest, I don't understand why she didn't stay home waiting for the result rather than risk contaminating people. Most likely, this is much bigger than Ortega. Another Twitter user put into question the COVID protocols on set. Since Ortega woke up with symptoms, any protocols that were actually in place should have kept her isolated until the test results returned. And another user brought things full circle, saying that these events are the result of American culture that glorifies someone risking their life and the lives of others for their job. Some Twitter users came to Ortega's defense, saying that other people are at fault for not having the actress isolate while she waited for her results. One user wrote, I would also say that this isn't directly on her. If they ordered her to be on set while waiting for the test, then it's whoever gave that order's fault, not hers. It's only on her if she had the option to isolate and didn't do so intentionally. Other users took it upon themselves to blame Netflix. No one can be sure what went on behind the scenes, but there was plenty of theorizing in the comments. Some suggested it was just routine testing and it happened to come out positive. These events aren't even the first time that the production of Wednesday came under fire. Last week, fans took to social media to criticize the show's portrayal of black characters. Where has she hithered? You mean Wednesday Adams? Knowing her, she's hithered somewhere she shan't be. As the director of the first four episodes, Burton was the target of criticism for using the show's black characters as the main antagonists, with many fans claiming it was a racist move. 